Hey guys, I'm Alan with Mr. Z's Music Lessons. Today we're going to be checking out and reviewing a four channel mixer from Fifine. And this mixer retails for $22 on Amazon at the time of making this video. And uh, we'll do a full unboxing and also a review over this. And I'll have it listed in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. So let's go ahead and we'll head over to the desk and we'll open up the box. So here we have a nice bookmark that just tells us the company's website and then also how to contact them um, on Facebook and their contact info through email. And then just a nice note there to the customer. And then here we have the uh, user's guide that will tell us how to use this mixer. And some styrofoam. And here's the power supply. And then there's the mixer, and it is metal, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's got a little bit dirty from the styrofoam on there, but uh, just at first glance here, I feel like it does feel pretty nice. And let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of this mixer. So this can primarily be used to combine like four channels into one. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what's on the front. So we have a red LED light, and that'll turn on whenever this is plugged in, so there's no power switch. And then we have our uh, four level knobs, so that'll control the volume of each one of the inputs. And then we have our 12 volt AC adapter spot where we'll plug that in. And then we have our four quarter inch inputs and then one quarter inch output. And then on the bottom, we have these little rubber feet right here, or I guess they're felt, and that'll just keep this from scratching anything up. And then also helps prevent it from sliding around. So I have everything plugged in here and I'll just kind of go over with you guys everything that's plugged in. So I have the power adapter plugged in here, so you'll notice that this uh, red LED light is on. And then in input 1 I have a uh, instrument cable run to a keyboard, which is a Korg SV1 keyboard. And then in input 2 I have a uh, SM58 vocal mic, and I'm using a uh, XLR to quarter inch cable. I'll link to one of those. Those are pretty useful to have around, um, just because the cable anyway. Um, just because like if you ever don't have enough XLR inputs, it is kind of useful to have a quarter inch option. And then uh, for the output, I just have an instrument cable run from the output into uh, channel one of my Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. Um, technically, this is supposed to be a TRS cable though, um, so I'll link to a, the correct kind of cable that you should use. I just didn't have one, and I, I hated to buy one just for reviewing this. Um, yeah, and then that's all plugged in, and then over here, this is just my uh, headphones, just so I can hear what everything sounds like. So I'm going to let you guys hear the keyboard, and I'm just going to play the uh, demo setting on this, just so I can kind of talk at the same time. Okay, so that'll start up here in just a second. And uh, yeah, you can hear I'll keep talking during this just so you can kind of hear how it handles both of these. And of course you can adjust the levels here. And one thing that I did notice as I was using this is that as you get higher up, um, the uh, pots do get pretty noisy. So if you were using this during like, a live performance, those noisy pots that might be a bit of a problem for you. And uh, really the only other negative that I have about this thing is just that uh, it doesn't have any XLR inputs. So I do wish that it had like the option of quarter inch or XLR inputs. But uh, besides that, I do think this thing is really pretty cool for like a little $22 mixer. Um, it's not something I would just go out and randomly buy, but if you have like a specific reason that you can use this, you know, I do think it's a pretty cool pickup. Um, one thing I, you know, that I would think it'd be really useful for, if you gig a lot um, and you like go places that don't always have enough channels, um, it would be cool to have something like this with you just in case. Like that way you could run a few different things into one channel if you need to. It's a good kind of backup option for you. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.